Ring ding ding kitties, Crack and Cody here, and welcome to my Walking Dead collection. Now this is a video. Oh, shoot. Um. Okay. So this is a video pertaining to my Walking Dead collection. Now I don't. I'm not. I have some T-shirts, but I'm not going to include those into my collection. Um, and I have. Or I don't. I don't have any toys or anything of the sort. Um, even if I did, I wouldn't include them in this. This is only physical Walking Dead stuff. I don't have any of the seasons of The Walking Dead, um, and I never do plan on buying toys, compendiums, um, and other types of things for this. I mean, I have the games and stuff, but hard to show you that. If you see my videos, you know. Um, so I'm going to start out with the simplest one, which is going to be the novels. And I'm just going to essentially showcase my collection. So, um, the first novel is The Walking Dead Rise of the Governor. I believe I got this one off Amazon. Um, I'm really not sure. Um, oh, there's also going to be no spoilers in this. So I'm just going to essentially read you titles. Now I'm sure maybe some of the titles have spoilers, but you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to be telling you anything about the story. Um, the second novel here in my hand is The Road to the Woodbury. It's about Lily. Um, the third is The Walking Dead Ra Fall of the Governor Part 1. Part 1, they uh, made it into two books, which some have criticized, because here's Part 2. Um, pretty good. Um, so these right here, these four lovely books, are the novel series. They are actually making another four uh, books about what happens after these books. I'm just gonna set these on the ground. Okay. Next, we're gonna go into the, uh, volume tradebacks. Um, and the volume tradebacks are essentially six issues per volume. So, you know, they're, they take about an hour to read. And it's the comic. So, you know, it's the comic. And they are in this one nice little condensed book that are each cut off at a certain story moment. So, uh, the first one's uh, Days Gone By. Nice. Nice genetic one right here. The second one is Miles Behind Us. Uh, that's, a, that's a good one. Uh, this third one is Safety Behind Bars. That's their, the first volume where they're starting their life in the prison. Uh, number four is The Heart's Desire. I was trying to show you all the titles, but I know all the titles. A uh, Best Defense is number five. Nice green. Um, the Star for Life, number six. Number seven, The Calm Before, which is probably my favorite named uh, volume. But my favorite volume is Made to Suffer, number eight. Very good volume. I like it. Uh, number nine, Here We Remain. Number 10, What We've Become, which is about where we are in the story in terms of the TV show. So we're about 10 volumes in the TV show. We're starting volume 11, Fear the Hunters, my second favorite volume. Number 12, Life Among Them. Number 13, Too Far Gone. I want to have to start sticking these into a different pile. Number 14, my third favorite volume, No Way Out. I like No Way Out. Number 15, We Find Ourselves. We Find Ourselves. She. Number 16, A Larger World, which is another one I, I don't know why I like this one, but I do. Maybe it's the art style. Oh. Uh, something to Fear. Something to Fear. This is a, that's, a, that's a big one. If you know the bad guys, that's a big one. What comes after? Number 18. Number 19, March to War. We're marching the war. And number 20, All Out War Part 1. Now, they're going to release number 21, which is All Out War Part 2 here, I don't know, this first chunk of the year, I guess. Um, get these off. Uh, that was a big, of course, a big volume, All Out War. And... We are starting a new volume, a new beginning, but I highly doubt we'll see those anytime soon. Um, 
but yeah, those are all the current released volumes, and I have I have all the current released volumes and novels. But the big reason I wanted to make this video is to showcase the actual issue collection. Now these issues are more expensive, they're harder to find, and they're what's really worth any money. Um, I mean, these the the volumes and the novels they print off all the time, but these issues, these are what's the money. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through them. I'm not gonna say anything about the story or anything. Uh, I may comment my favorites or whatever, but uh, the, my, the oldest issue I ha I'm going in order of the issues I have. The oldest issue I have is issue number 14. Uh, it's it's one of my most expensive ones, of course, because it's old. I believe it came out in 04, actually. Um, but yeah, and I keep them all in sleeved and cardboard backed. But yeah, number 14, that's, that's one of my gems. Uh, and that, then... 39 is the next one I have. Uh, I have kind of like a... I kind of skipped up to that one. Uh, then number 40. And then 41. Where are you? There you are. 41. They've, um... Since then, they've moved around these... The numberings. So here's 42. Where they're still in the prison. Um, you know, my favorite volumes, Made the Suffer. So, of course, these two issues that I haven't made the suffer are one of my favorites. Um, number 46, which if you've seen the show, you can kind of guess where this one's going. And 47. And I just, I love the red, I don't know, I just, I like these, those two issues. They're also pretty expensive, but. Uh, kind of another jump, 59. And 60. Good old 60. Uh, and then the start of my second favorite volume, Fear to Hunter, so we got 62. And 64. I don't have 63. It's relatively expensive. And 61's even more expensive. Um, 65. This way. And the last issue of the Fear of the Hunters volume 66. So I have all but two of the Fear of the Hunters. Uh, 68. First appearance of Aaron. Oops. 68. 77 and 78 78 no smoochin in the bell tower though that actually doesn't happen in the comics not much of a spoiler but okay my collection is big enough I have to split these stacks oh god I want to see if it yeah we go okay and then number 79, which starts out the um, No Way Out volume. I like... This one just caught my eye, so I kind of liked it. Uh, just the way it looked. Actually, No Way Out, all the issues have this very colorful-looking style, but it's very dark. Oh, wait, that's a 81. I was supposed to be reading this off. But it's a very dark volume. Uh, 83... Which has some very major deaths in it. I like it. 83, cut my eye. Douglas, what a man. 87. Holly, Abraham, and Rosita. Uh, 88, which I actually just picked up a while ago. I really like the purple they put on it. That 88, yep. And then 90. That rounds out that volume. Just before a larger world. Okay, this volume right here is—it's number 92. It's the first appearance of Jesus. Um, it's cons it's one of the most expensive. I've seen s stores sell this for sixty-five dollars, sixty dollars roughly. Um, I got it really, really cheap. I got it for like less than twenty um, because hey, bargain. <laughs> um, but no, I this is I keep this issue in very good condition um, because. Jesus is a big character, and it's just, it's only going to get even more worth over the years to come. Um, it'd be like getting a Michonne appearance, or an Abraham appearance. They're just, they're just big characters. Um, and Jesus is a big character, and so he's worth some money. Um, 95, which is the second to last in the Larger World series. And then we get to 97, Something to Fear. And now, as and you'll see by each of these issues that you know there's a there's a different 
some there's a different something to fear. But they all have the same basic look. And I have I have the entire collection of something to fear. So here's, you know, ninety nine. And then the big one that a lot of people like. One hundred. And there's Negan right on with Lucille right on the front. And then one oh one with Dwight on the cover. And 102 of something the fear. Okay, we are done with this stack. Time to move on to the last stack. These are the most these are the most modern released uh, comics here. So we got 103, 109, Maggie and Sophia. Here's 110, which is um, actually which is this comic for some reason is increasing in price fast I don't I really don't know why um, nothing too big happens in this comic um, so I'm not sure um, 111 which has a death of uh, a character I kind of liked um, 114 which was the last one in March to war before we got to the all-out war series now the all-out war series was divided in two parts, so it's a lot of comics. Um, so here's the first one, one four, or 115 in All Out War, with Rick on the main cover. Here's 116 with Holly on the cover. 117 with Jesus on the cover. 118 with Gregory on the cover. 119, Dwight. 120, Michonne. Now that ended All Out War Part 1. And then All Out War Part 2 came on. So we had 121 with Negan. 122 with Heath. 123 with Ezekiel. 124 with Maggie. 125, no! With Andrea. Oh, and these? These ones here I bought. Oh, and here's y'all. Yeah, go ahead. And 126. Um, but all these newer ones, I bought. You know, pristine, and I never actually read them. I read them online. So when I bought these, I just put them right into the sleeve. That way, they'd be never read. So there'd be no, no creases, and no bends. Yeah, this one's 126 again. That's the end of all that war. So there'd be no creases, no nothing. They'd stay almost mint in a sleeve. And then here is 127, which is the this issue just came out today, and uh, it's a beauty. I mean, it looks great. I don't really know where they're gonna go with the story. I hope they kind of throw some curveballs. Um, it also has a new title in the top, which I'm debating whether I like it or not. But so yeah, that right there is my Walking Dead collection. Um, so yeah, four novels, 20 volume paper, trade back volumes, and then, uh, at least 50 or more of the actual issues. Um, there's 127 currently released, uh, and I have just a little under half of them, I think. So there's a lot more to go, um, and I'm always trying to get more, so. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Um, if you have any Walking Dead issues that you really don't want, hey, contact me. Um, but other than that, happy hunting. <laughs>